today we are about to pop out of the door and run some errands. Brandon's iPhone isn't working. It just stopped working properly a couple days ago. It's been a little quirky. Part of the screen doesn't work and he can't answer any phone calls. He can call someone back and it works fine, but he can't answer. It's very silly. So he has a genius bar appointment, but we're going to make a little adventure out of it and we're going to go to lunch beforehand. And while he's at the genius bar appointment, I'm going to peruse some of the shops. So we're going to make the best out of it, but hopefully that'll get fixed today. And then after that, have some things to do around the house, some work to get done. And this weekend, I'm going on a bit of an adventure. We have a wedding on Sunday and my mom is actually going with me because Brandon can't come because of work. Um, and we're going from Sunday morning, we're leaving early Sunday morning and the wedding is on Sunday. And then we're gonna come home on Monday, late late monday night so it's like a 28 hour trip it's gonna be an adventure but i want to start prepping and packing for that not that i need to pack very much but just sort of get my decks in a row and try to get organized for that because with that being said i don't want to overpack since it's such a short trip and we want to be able to pack lightly so we can pick up and go and explore and not have to lug around a ton of luggage so that'll be a whole other vlog that trip but I want to start getting ready for that, but I'm excited to spend time with you all. Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. delicious lunch we always bar taco always hits the spot for us and brandon's phone they did fix it so that's good but we just got home and he was on his phone and then it stopped working again but now it's working so it's kind of iffy but thankfully it's not a huge deal he can still operate most of the technology he needs but it's kind of funny it's back and forth but we did go to Trader Joe's and I have a little haul. It's kind of a hodgepodge of goodies. Have some fruit, some oranges. Hi, Palmer. <laughs> some kiwi, mango, banana, crackers, some mint tea. Peppermint tea is my absolute favorite, especially before bedtime. Some chili salsa, some pistachios. We haven't had pistachios for a while, but a great snack some sunflower seeds. We love to put these on salads. Dark chocolate bars. We actually haven't had either of these before, but we love Trader Joe's chocolate. They have a good selection. Some unexpected cheddar cheese and then coconut milk and cream cheese because Bar Taco inspired us to make some key lime pie. We love the key lime pie at Bar Taco, but after we ate lunch, we were kind of full. We really didn't have much room in our bellies anymore. So we thought it would be fun to make key lime pie. I've never made key lime pie before, and I feel like it's a very quintessential summer dessert. So I thought that'd be really fun to make it. 
And for the recipe I found, well one, I don't want to make a whole key lime pie because we don't have plans um, to have people over today or tomorrow and I feel like we won't be able to handle whole pie. Maybe it would freeze well. That's a good thing to look into, but I found a recipe for miniature key lime pies and I'm gonna either half the recipe or even do a third of the recipe. So we'll just have like a few of the miniature key lime pies. And I thought that'd just be a fun little activity, but also a perfect dessert for later. Cause now that we've digested a bit, I'm ready for something sweet. And key lime pie isn't personally my favorite dessert. It's very Florida. We got in very summer, very Florida, and I like it, but Brandon, he loves it. It's one of his favorites, so I thought that would be fun. And okay, so for the recipe, the recipe called for sweetened condensed milk, but Trader Joe's did not have sweetened condensed milk. So I looked up some alternatives, and they had organic coconut milk, and I saw that you can mix the coconut milk with sugar, on a burner over the stove top for a little bit and then it'll sort of mimic the condensed sweet the sweetened condensed milk and what's neat I think hopefully it'll even taste better with a little hint of the coconut flavor just for another tropical aspect I feel like that could be quite nice so we're gonna experiment we're gonna try it but we'll work on that soon because once you make it you have to let it cool for two hours up to a day. So I want to try to get on that so that we can enjoy it later today. And then we also went to the mall and Anthropology. They have their autumn goodies. So I did find a couple of things that I really loved. And they were both on sale, which was amazing. I feel like usually at the end of the season is when the sales happen. But it was nice to have a beginning of the season sale. So the first thing I found is this beautiful glass and I thought this would be perfect for our iced coffee times. So it's this autumnal glass, such a beautiful, beautiful design and very cozy color scheme. So we have that. And then this other one is a mixing bowl, which I should wash this and use this for the recipe. Maybe I'll wait. I'm trying to save all the autumn inspired goodies for later. But um, this is the, the bowl. It's a beautiful, it has a nice lip at the edge, which is perfect for baking and whatnot. But I'll probably end up, we'll see, but I'll probably end up displaying it on the floating shelves over there as well. And then picking it up whenever it's convenient. But those are the finds of the day. Let's get baking on our key lime pie.
because that just accompanies the rainy afternoon much better. It's much more appropriate attire. We have our first batch of the key lime mini pies in the oven. Everything smells and looks good for the most part. Again, it's my first time making them, so I suppose I don't know for sure. I will say the filling was a bit bubbly, so that was a bit unexpected. I think it's because my coconut milk was warm still because I let it simmer with some sugar to make it sweetened. And I probably should have let that cool a bit, but I'm just excited. I'm just trying to make it happen. Hopefully it'll all turn out okay. And I think I'm gonna make some latkes for dinner. I have plenty of potatoes. We're kind of running low on groceries. I wasn't sure if we would have leftovers from lunch. Kind of, I was kind of banking on having leftovers from lunch, so kind of left hanging for dinner. So I think latkes is a great option though, which potato pancakes, that's another name for them. I love to have them with applesauce and sour cream. We don't have sour cream, but we have plain Greek yogurt, which essentially tastes just like sour cream. So I think I'm gonna make some latkes and then we can have maybe a salad with that or see what else we have, see what we can find. Product. They smell so good. I'm so excited to eat them. Brandon's making us a salad too, but this is a great dinner if you ask me. Also, the recipe called for russet potatoes, but I only had golden potatoes, but it seemed to work just fine. Okay, here are the finished key lime pie miniature tarts. I keep wanting to call them tarts because they look just so cute and bite-sized. I think they turned out adorable. Everything is super cute when it's miniature also, so that's bonus points, but the texture of the filling definitely is a little off because of how I mentioned it was bubbly and a bit foamy. But at the end of the day, if it tastes good, we will be happy campers. I wanna go for this one because it has the most crust and not that much filling. Brandon just asked where I made Starbucks egg bites. <laughs> they do look like egg bites. That's so funny. Okay, pick your favorite. Also, I'll eat this one. No, I want that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. You like the filling. I also I like wouldn't all. eat the lime I put on yeah, top, probably. I might squeeze it. Probably have enough one. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Oh, you're cut out of frame. Oh, oh. I gotta stand over the plate. I'm gonna make a oh, crumbly true. mess. True. It smells nice. Mm hmm. Nice scent. Mm hmm. It smells very Key West. better with whipped cream but I like it. I feel like it, the crust got a little soggy mm. and uh, <laughs> it's a little too tart. Oh you need to be sweeter. Mm, too limey. Less, yeah I could not have quite put... as yeah sweet but too limey. Wait I actually love them. Good. I think no, they're really it's good. Not bad by any means. <laughs> Palmer's good. licking up all the crumbs. Well, my thumb. 
I like it. That's Thank the you. review. Yeah, of course. I'm just craving that. I know. Flavor. Yeah, this one goes out to you. I'm surprised how much I like it though. We are cozied up now. I'm gonna wrap up a bit more work on my laptop and then I'm gonna read. And I wanted to share a review of this book, How to Be a Good Creature by Cy Montgomery. I loved this memoir so, so much. It was incredibly endearing and sweet and touching especially if you have a deep appreciation and adoration for animals because that's the main focus is the author Cy Montgomery. She's a naturalist, a researcher, an animal expert. She's written a lot of books on different creatures and basically she uses, I forget how many are in the book, 12 or so different animals and shares the lessons that they taught her through her time with them. It was beautiful. I absolutely loved it. And it's a pretty short read, so it's pretty attainable. And I, now I'm reading The Butterfly Effect, which it's very dense. It's quite interesting, but absolutely a lot more dense and just an abundance of information. I'm only on page 18, so <laughs> haven't made a huge dent in it, but again, it's definitely going to take longer for me to get through, but I do find it to be quite interesting. So that's what I'm reading, but I'll see you all in the morning. beautiful green color turned out really nice I used some of the leftover coconut milk that I had yesterday from the key lime pies so it's quite yummy and today it's really just get stuff done sort of day lots of computer work to wrap up gotta finish some laundry gotta start sorting my packing for my trip my short trip in the wedding and I also want to um, while I'm spending time in my office on my computer, I want to make a list of any fun activities to do in Philadelphia. I don't even think I've told you where I'm going for the wedding. Philadelphia. So it's on, excuse me, it's on the East Coast, so not too far, but I haven't spent much time in Philadelphia, so I'm excited to see it. Excited to, I haven't even checked the weather either. I feel like it'll be quite pleasant forecast, if I had to guess. But yeah, I want to map out something or a few different activity ideas, even though it'll be such a short trip. Okay, so we have high of 85, low of 64. Delightful, love it, love it. So that's sort of the agenda for today. Nothing too crazy, just getting stuff done.
a cinnamon honey latte, our favorite around here. And I just finished gathering a few pieces for the trip. I really don't feel the need to pack too far in advance because like I said, it's only one night, but of course we like to be prepared, set up for success. And I started writing down some destinations in Philly for this weekend and there's so much to do. I'm so excited. Of course the wedding is what we're most excited about and the number one priority but we're gonna try to squeeze in some other sites so some of the highlights that i'm excited about we have the philadelphia's magic gardens which from the website and her reviews it looks like this beautiful garden area oasis and then there were a lot of mosaic like super intricate mosaics and colorful it looks really neat and then Independence Hall, Liberty Bell, the Franklin Institute, Reading Terminal Market, which looks like a huge indoor market, Betsy Ross's house, Elfris Alley Museum, Edgar Allan Poe National Historic Site, and then I also wrote down a few coffee shops, of course, priorities. But I'm really looking forward to that adventure and for the rest of the day, I'm going to edit this vlog and then work on some other computer work. I'm not even gonna take my laptop this weekend, so I really wanna wrap up everything beforehand. And then I want to, oh, there's just some like house stuff and like adult things that I need to handle before going. And then I also hope to watch a movie with Brandon later while we watch dinner. I feel like that's the perfect Friday night activity, but overall a really chill weekend before our little getaway but thank you guys so much for spending time with me i hope you enjoyed today's vlog and i cannot wait to see you next bye